Well, hello and welcome. I am Nate. We are literally like 20 feet from the highway. <laughs> so we are at Intermountain Homes here in Kalispell, Montana. And it's been a while since I've uh, filmed one of these uh, with these big prow front porches. So I thought, since how this one has got the reverse floor plan of all the others that I've ever put out, I should probably get this one while I'm here. Looks really good. Of course, we'll step out onto the front porch once we get there. So this one is a two bedroom, two bath with an office that you can make into that third bedroom. And I love the siding that they got here. Looks really good. Try to be kind of a little brief on the outside. It's a nice sunny day today, as you can see, but there's still a lot of snow on the ground. <laughs> so the other side, I showed you this from the from the shadows. This is what the sun looks like coming off of it. Looks even better. All right, so let's uh, head on in. Of course, that's your living room. You got those big, those three big windows, and those transoms up above you. So now as we come on in, you can see it's kind of an open floor plan over there, but not looking straight into the kitchen, which is really nice. Well, hello there, Mr. Horsey. So your ceilings, as you can see, kind of tip down, except for this area where the windows are. You got the nice flat ceiling with the double tray. And look at all these windows over here. How much light is coming in. And that's the office over there by the front door. This room is just super nice. I love the way this room feels. Now, obviously, there's not a whole lot of spot to put the TV. I know some of you comment on that, so that's about the only spot you really got for it. Unless you wanted to put it on that wall somehow. Nice large dining room. I mean, you can see it's a nice big table, rustic, definitely looks like it's a hunting table. It's kind of the feel you get with this home is more like a, a cabin. Now you can see the lights kind of flickering a little bit. That just has to do with the frame rate of the camera versus the, you know, the way LEDs work. So in case any of you don't know, LEDs aren't actually on steady. They flicker fast enough that the human eye usually doesn't catch it. Okay, so I wasn't able to get out onto the porch because the house has had a little bit of settling since uh, they set it up. And that front or that door is kind of bound up a little bit at the top, so I didn't want to pull on it too hard. So sorry I had to come back out here to kind of show you the porch, but 
I wanted to make sure you got at least a little bit of view of the porch. So into the kitchen. Now you have a stack of drawers between the stove and the sink, but you do have drawers above all your doors. The Frigidaire stainless steel appliance package. Now they weren't soft clothes, but they do have a lot of resistance on them, so you're not just going to be able to slam them shut. Nice matte black faucets. So I really like this counter right here because it's not quite an island, not quite a peninsula, but it separates the kitchen from the dining room and the living room. So it gives you that little bit of separation, makes it feel not so wide open. Our utility room on the back side of the kitchen gives you your washer and dryer hookups. Of course your hanging rod and your cabinets. We got our furnace. You know your water heater is not going to be in a closet. Even though it is not in the utility room, it is also not in a closet. Now I didn't point out next to your door you've got this shiplap. They also have that in the primary bedroom. This is going to be the office area. Now mind you, you can make this into a bedroom, albeit a small one, but you can make it into a bedroom. In the first guest bathroom. You got the shower tub combo. And I like that they didn't use just your stain old flat fiberglass. It's got this nice tile pattern in it, so it looks really good. The first of the two bedrooms. Now they've got two small beds in here, so easily room for two people. Of course, now I've never had to share a room with a kid before. So if you had kids that uh, have to share rooms, how does that work when you're putting them to bed? Because I know my kid, Raiden, if there's anybody else in the bedroom, all he's going to want to do is play. Whether, you know, like even when his sister comes to visit, things like that. <laughs> so here is your water. <laughs> I wanted to say water closet, but <laughs> here's your water heater. Not a water closet. And there's that gray shiplap we were talking about earlier. And 
Now your ceilings are eight foot at this end and nine foot at that end. Decent sized closet. And as we head into the primary bathroom, you can see you've got uh, your stack of drawers in the center, dual square sinks. Hello, Raiden. We have the shower. They went with the kind of the same gray as what was on the ship lap. Looks really, really good. Of course, they continue with the matte black faucets. And then over here, we've got our water closet, which is nice and wide. And then our linen closet. And I hope you all enjoyed this one. I said I don't remember the square footage right off the top of my head. I didn't get a chance to do any walkthroughs with the gentleman earlier today when I got here. He was busy with a customer. This is a one-man operation at this place. So uh, if you all are interested in any of these homes, make sure you let him know you saw him here on uh, YouTube. And I'll be back with some price information here shortly. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. All right, you made it. So now we got to get you some price information on the Lake Lodge, which is what this home is called. It is roughly 1,500 square foot. It's like 1,493 or something like that. So then you got that little bit of a prowl that kind of comes to a point. So it adds a few extra square feet to the home. So that's what I'm saying, roughly 1,500 square feet. And then you got that big porch on the front. So that's going to come into play for the price of the home. You know, that porch. It is a modular home. So that's going to add a little bit of cost to it. It is also an exclusive. This is only made for Intermountain Homes. If you look at Marley's website, it is not listed on their website. So this is an exclusive that he's custom designed, had custom built. You can order it through him and have them obviously make the home, but he's the only one that sells it. So that adds a little bit more to the cost of the home. This is also in Montana, the Northwest where prices are a little bit higher than, say, down south in Mississippi, where I was just at, where prices are a lot cheaper for much bigger homes. So with those kind of things in mind, it's going to add a little bit more to the cost of the home. But still, it's not a bad price for the home. I'll just go ahead and tell you, the price of the home is right around $225,000 for this one. So there are options you can get that as like the third bedroom, Instead of an office, I don't know what that's going to do for cost-wise. So you may save money by not getting the tile shower, things like that. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're looking for some more videos, I got two-car garage video. Or you can check out this one over here, which is a very similar style home filmed also up here in the Northwest. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.